Good morning, everybody. Today I'm reading Ephesians 4:32, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. In the 1940s, Richard and Sabina Wambrand were a young married couple living in Bucharest, Romania. They were Jews but they had turned to the Lord Jesus Christ in repentance and faith, and Richard had become a pastor. During the war, Romania sided with Hitler and the Nazis, and sadly, being Jews, Sabina's parents, her three sisters, and one of her brothers were deported to a camp near Golta, where they died. Then, a while later, a new tenant came to live in the apartments where the Wormbrands lived. Ever the evangelist, Richard called on him to meet him. The man boasted that while in the military, he had volunteered to kill Jews, including, it turned out, those in the camp near Golta. The man also said he very much missed the songs he'd heard while serving in Ukraine. Richard invited him back to his own apartment because he could play some of those Ukrainian songs on the piano. The man loved listening to the music and then, after a while, Richard spoke to him. I have something important to say to you. He continued. If you look through that curtain, you can see someone is asleep in the next room. It's my wife, Sabina. Her parents, her sisters, and her brother have been killed with the rest of the family. You told me that you had killed hundreds of Jews near Golta, and that is where they were taken. You yourself don't know who you have shot, so we can assume that you are the murderer of her family. The, the man began to become violent, but Richard continued, Now let's try an experiment. I shall wake my wife and tell her who you are and what you have done. I can tell you what will happen. My wife will, will not speak one word of reproach. She'll embrace you as if you were her brother. She'll bring you supper, the best thing she has in the house. He explained she would do this because she herself, a sinner, had been forgiven by the Lord Jesus Christ. The man fell into an agony and cried out, What shall I do? He asked again and again for forgiveness as Richard prayed for him. He put his faith in the Lord Jesus. Richard did what he had promised. He woke Sabina and told her who was in the next room and what he had done. She got up, went to the man, and threw her arms around him, around him kissing him on the cheeks. Then she made him supper. It's an amazing story, isn't it? I've, I've taken it from Wormbrand's book, In God's Underground. It's astonishing, the love of God and the forgiveness of God, isn't it, that can come into our own hearts if we allow it to. Amen.